Once, I was just a guy with a dream and a guitar, leading a rock band called, The Wild Ones. We were four friends, each one of us fueled by the raw energy of rock music. We played at every local bar and club that would have us, but fame was as elusive as a shadow in the night. Our music, while filled with passion, somehow failed to ignite the spark we needed. After countless nights of introspection and a few too many failed gigs, we decided it was time for a drastic change. We didn't just tweak our style, we reinvented ourselves completely. Inspired by the flamboyant and theatrical rock legends of the past, we transformed into Glamorous Sisters. With this new identity, we swapped our leather jackets for glitter and glam. Our music evolved too, from hard-hitting rock anthems to soul-stirring rock ballads. The transformation was more than just superficial, it changed the way we felt on stage. As Glamorous Sisters, we weren't just playing music, we were living a performance. The response was electric. Our gigs started to draw larger crowds, and our songs began to resonate with a wider audience. I'll never forget the first time we heard a crowd singing along to our ballad, Hearts Echo. It was a surreal moment, feeling the lyrics that came from our heart echoed back by a sea of people. Our new look, often mistaken as a mere gimmick, was actually a reflection of our newfound confidence and freedom. Dressed in our glittery outfits, we felt unbound from the expectations that once weighed us down. We were no longer just a band, we were a spectacle, a story, an experience. As glamorous sisters, we embraced our feminine outfits with a genuine affection. Each costume was a masterpiece, a blend of sequins, satin, and sheer confidence. I found myself looking forward to the ritual of dressing up before each show, feeling a sense of liberation in the skirts that swirled around my legs and the tops that sparkled under the stage lights. Our appearances were bold, daring, and unapologetically flamboyant, reflecting the fearless spirit of our music. Among us, Jamie's transformation was the most profound. Jamie, our drummer, had always been the quiet one, often lost in his thoughts and the rhythm of his drums. But as part of Glamorous Sisters, he found a new way to express himself. His affinity for the more feminine aspects of our costumes grew into something deeply personal. He began experimenting with his look off stage too, integrating elements of our stage attire into his everyday wardrobe. It wasn't long before Jamie confided in us about his desire to embrace his feminine side more fully. He talked about feeling more himself in the dresses and makeup than he ever did in jeans and a t-shirt. His journey led him to make a life-changing decision, he decided to undergo breast augmentation. It was a step towards aligning his outer appearance with his inner identity, and we supported him wholeheartedly. The day Jamie returned to rehearsals post-surgery, there was a palpable shift in his energy. He carried himself with a new sense of pride and confidence. His joy was infectious, and it reflected in our music, adding a deeper layer of authenticity to our performances. Jamie's journey was a testament to the power of self-acceptance and the courage to embrace one's true self. As a band, we grew closer, our bond strengthened by the shared experience of transformation and the celebration of individuality. As time passed, the story of Glamorous Sisters evolved in a way none of us could have anticipated. It began with Jamie, whose transition opened a door that had long been closed, not just for him but for all of us. What started as an artistic expression soon became a journey of personal discovery and transformation for each band member. After Jamie's transition, Alex, our bassist, was the next to embrace this path. Alex had always been the most experimental among us, both in music and in life. His transition was gradual, a slow blooming into the person he always knew he was inside. He started with subtle changes to his appearance and, with each step, his confidence grew. When he finally announced his decision to transition, it felt like a natural progression of his true self coming to light. Then it was Chris, our keyboardist, who followed suit. Chris's journey was quieter, more introspective. He had always been reflective, his melodies often carrying the emotional weight of our songs. His transition was like a gentle wave, reshaping the shore of his existence with tender persistence. For Chris, it was less about the outward appearance and more about aligning his inner self with the outer world. As for me, I found myself questioning and exploring my own identity. 
Witnessing my bandmates' courage and the beauty of their transformations inspired me to look within. I realized that my connection to the feminine aspects of our performances ran deeper than just costumes and stage personas. It was a profound part of who I was. My decision to transition was the final piece of a puzzle I didn't even know I was putting together. Our transformations were not just personal, they reshaped, glamorous sisters, as a band. Our music deepened, infused with our individual and collective journeys of self-discovery and acceptance. Our fans witnessed our evolution and many found inspiration in our courage to embrace our true selves. On stage, we were no longer just a band, we were a living testament to the power of authenticity. Our concerts became celebrations of identity, love, and the endless spectrum of human experience. As Glamorous Sisters, we were not just making music, we were creating a space where everyone could be their truest self, unafraid and unashamed. In the end, Glamorous Sisters was more than a name or a band. It was a story of transformation, a journey that led each of us to become the women we were always meant to be. Through our music and our lives, we echoed a message of hope, acceptance, and the enduring power of being true to oneself.